Let's take a look at setting up accounting codes in the ProRes system. We can go to System Settings, then to Accounting Codes. Accounting codes are used for the integration of our partner softwares. You can add different accounting codes to the list and then assign them to the items in the database. Some of our partner softwares allow us to import the accounting codes directly into the list. To create a new accounting code, we'll click on Add New Accounting Code, enter in a code, along with a description. We can then select a unit, if necessary, and also tell it what cost types they belong to. This helps narrow down the list of accounting codes when you're in the item details. Once you've completed importing, there are two ways to apply accounting codes to the items in your database. The first way is you can go into the database, expand a division, a subdivision, and then go into the Edit Item screen for that item. Here, you can then select what accounting code should be applied to each cost type. As you can see, in this dropdown, only material and concrete show because labor was set to cost type labor only. The second way is going back into the accounting code section, going to the assignments, and dragging the code over to the appropriate division and subdivision. When we drag it over and drop it, it will add it to the list and all items that fall underneath that division or subdivision will get applied. Please note that if you select a counting code that's applied to all cost types and already applied a counting code that only applied to a single cost type, it will overwrite the other single cost types. You can add the one that applies to all cost types first and then apply the single cost type second. Most of these integrations with ProEst will require you to assign the accounting codes prior to exporting out the estimates. So please assign them all into the items in the database before trying to send an estimate over to your partner software.